Welcome learner. My name is Shivai Devnath. In this tutorial, I will be taught about angular element. Angular element is the special type element where we are actually create some components and that components are inject dynamically or by service. So that time you can use this. So this is actually test message. message and open it as a component and this is actually component are injected by the service class when we are actually clicking every clicking you can see the some component are injecting here like this like this you can injecting you can add as a also element so when we are when i click here so th after that time we can actually inject as a element also so this is actually element also so if we are remove it so then it remove from the uh, this section okay so this is actually uh, today task and how it happening this is the actually angular official site and this is the overview of angular elements and when you want to uh, create this thing so first time we need to be create a, a blank project for this okay i will be fast forward in this video okay so our project already initiated okay so this is our basic uh, page uh, which actually want to see and after that we can use some input element here so input element is text and also we can add name as a input and here we can use placeholder enter a message okay and after that we can use button and we can use open as your m p o n n t component and button also uses open as a element okay but this time we will be um, blank for this section right now so actually this time i just comment out right for escaping the error now we can create a component so here we can create a custom component which called pop-up component so one more thing actually when we are actually custom element so that time we need to be add some input some dependency package which is actually give us browser supports are required for our custom elements so for that purpose you can add this dependency package in your application so now i just add this We are already at this package and now we can create the component we can create the custom. so now we are actually create some custom component and this custom components are actually need to be used in this section so we are actually create the component here and this components have some input data like this and we can use here masses and we can use the masses uh, masses variable or masses properties and this masses properties are used as a some tricky process what is the tricky process uh, when we are actually using some message so for that purpose we need to be used input decorator um, for data input but when we are actually get uh, the data input um, for the message so that time we can use the use for the message with the setter and get so for that purpose we just use the message string and by default it, it will be blank and when we are actually getting the message so that time we can return it through this if we are uh, not used like this if we are use it directly above of this property so that time when we are actually put some data uh, through the service class so that time we don't take any data through this process so for that purpose we could not be used actually if we are used like this so that time if we are uh, inject some data through the service class so that time this process could not be working properly so for that purpose we can 
now we need to be use this process where we can use the getter and setter method like this okay this is the correct way where when we are injecting some data through the service class okay this is the spelling have mistake m e s s a m e s s a g message add it also be s a g and i think correctly work okay so this is actually one element and another element we can be use here also like we can use the button element and also we can use button element and when we are actually create some click functions so that time our component will be closed or our custom component will be removed from the element uh, from the document so this time we need to be use some output decorator and need to be used for it and also we can use closed element and here we can use new event uh, emitter uh, which is the actually event property uh, are used for here and here we could not be use anything to be returned so for that purpose we can use the data type as a void so we could not use any output data for the for this event uh, event property so now we just use the closed and this is the actually observable object uh, because the uh, when we are actually set up it so after that we get some observable options because here actually emitting some rx subject data and this time we are not execute some we are not emit any data from this events emitter so for that purpose we can use it as a, a next for the data generation point that means we can perform the event through this process okay so our event functions are actually done from the pop-up section now we need to be create the service class for this or pop-up component okay so this pop-up service class also created here and when this pop-up service class are already created and this time we can use the private uh, injector need to be used so we can use the injector and here we can use environment injector environment injector here and also we can use another thing we can also use another thing application rep application rep or application reference for application binding so this time we can use these two things are actually required to bind our components through the service actually we need to be initiate the injector injector is the value injector where we can put some data from the another component and application reference means actually our application is angular application can be inject some data through this application reference okay so now we are actually so we can we can open as a open as component com component so this is actually message and this time we can applying this time we need to be create pop-up first so first we are create the pop-up object and this time we actually creating some native object like this and this time we can create custom pop-up element so pop-up component like this and after this we can also need to be create pop-up reference so this time we can create component options here actually we can be create custom pop-up option and this time we can be inject pop-up component as a parameter okay and after that we can inject some options like environment injector uh, as a key and also we can use as a injector through this and also we need to be bind with the host or uh, host element because uh, from for this element we need to be inject our component so for that purpose we can use it also for the host element okay so these two things are actually need to be required and after this we need to be attached with our applications so for that purpose we can be use the application reference and attach view and after that this pop-up reference uh, can be attached with the host view means html page view or whole class can be attached with the application so for that purpose we can use this process use this line also pop-up reference can be instantiate our data that means when actually we want to close our particular element so that time we first need to be removed so document dot body 
dot remove child so actually we want to remove the child which is the pop-up this pop-up element will be removed when we are actually close the element and also uh, detach the view element also from here okay and this is actually close functionalities are work and when we want to input some data through the message property like actually we have some message data property for the data input so this process actually can be work and after initiate we can be create and property addition like this so this is actually pop up addition we can add it the property through this method okay so this is the all the things are uh, working i think uh, i think it will be working properly so now we can test it okay so we already created button or input message also here but first time we need to be create the constructor and here we can create injector inject and we can use injector and also we can create public and pop-up service because uh, we actually create pop-up service instance here so um, pop-up service we can be added as a injector from this injector we can be create our component through this component so now we can create the pop-up component or pop-up element create custom element and now here we can use the pop-up element our custom pop-up element through like this and through this element we can use the custom element as defined and we can use the element name pop-up component or pop-up element we just input as a element pop-up element and we can input the data so first thing we are actually going to use the name as a string and after that we can use the custom element reference as a constructor okay so this is actually a process to inject our pop-up service in our application okay then we can go to the part here and after this we can use the pop-up and open as a component so here we have component and also input has a template variable and when we are get some value so we can pass that value as a message and after that we can see the component in our page okay so let's see so this is actually a main page and here we can be check as a test message and after that we can actually see the message and if we are click it close so then we cannot see these things okay let's retry here and also we are see and when it is seen here so that time this pop-up component are actually created we can create it also as a service element also native element so if we want to use as a native element so for that time we can use pop-up element and this pop-up element can be instantiated ng element and also with not double and uh, so here we can use with properties and here we can use the application type that means pop-up component type we can be injected here and when we are actually injected here so that time we can use it as a any okay so this uh, element are actually instantiated like this okay and after creating this this pop-up element we can put the message through this and also we can append this through this message and also if you want to pop up element on uh, if when actually want to close this pop up element so that time we can be used like this and for this time we can use remove child and we can remove it through this but when we would click the pop up element that means things actually first need to be added in a, into the component section so this part need to be uncommented and after that we can use it as a pop-up and open as a element and after that we can use it like this and after this thing we can use test message and we can also see it here and our pop-up element also here and now if we are clicking here and this all the elements are gone but we did not want like this actually we, when we actually hit on this button so that time it will be gone so for that purpose we just need very little implement so here actually got some event 
not click we are actually using the event name is closed so this closed actually event name and this event name actually are working as a observer uh, event observer so uh, when the event are performed that time this element are removed okay so now i'll check once again so test and this is the actually here and now i am hitting here but we could not see anything so when we are actually clicking the close button so that time gone the element okay and this time open as a component and this is actually component are opening and now component is gone element is coming and element is gone but if you want to embed this component or element into app root section so that time you can implement something uh, something little bit here just like this you just use the query selector this is the actually javascript process and you can use like this also and this time you got some error message so you don't puzzle with this just using this and this will be added into app root section okay so how it work let's see test so before that it actually adding end of the body element but now if we are actually create as a component so then it is actually injected into our root directory so after this these components are actually injected here okay so this is our tutorial and i hope you are enjoyed this tutorial and if you are enjoy this tutorial hit the like button and share with your friend to grow my channel and grow our community because your one click is very motivated for me and also if you are new in my youtube channel so definitely subscribe my youtube channel and hit the notification bell icon for the notification when i publish any new videos in my youtube channel okay and also we'll be next with you next software development learning videos